Hello, my amazing sexy mofos. This is your boy Venomy here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I am back with another Forza Horizon 5 Dragon Tune video. And the card that we are playing with today is the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. But before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, let's jump straight into the upgrades for today's video. Now the 2011 Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, we're starting with an engine swap. You want to put in the racing 7.2 litre V8. You also want to make the drive train. You want to swap it, make it all wheel drive. I know that's going to trigger some people, but don't let it bother you. And the last option you really want to do is put the twin turbo option in. Now from here, tires and rims. Tire compound, you want to make drag tire compound. And you want to make the rear tire width as big as possible. Four five fives on this car, very, very thick tires. If you can as well, make the rims a lighter set of rims. I went with my usual set of rims and managed to knock off over 20 kilos on this car, so definitely do that. For the engine upgrades, as you can see for yourself right now, you want to put every single one of these on to race just to get as much power out of the car as you physically can. For platform and handling, you don't want to go with the roll cage, you want to avoid that. The only option on there you want to go for is the off-road springs and dampers. I know quite a few people do like the roll cage, but try to avoid it. Now, last category, drivetrain. You want to keep the transmission stock because of the engine swap. You want to put the drive line to race and you want to put the differential onto drift or race. It's entirely up to you. Some people like race, some people prefer drift. They say it, you shift through the gears a little bit quicker. There's definitely an argument between race and drift differential, but you go with whatever your heart says or whatever your instinct says you want to go for. Now, for the actual tuning setup, just pause the video every time I change category, copy everything down, write it all down, upgrade your car while I'm doing mine. This part is just dedicated to the drivers that want to obviously tune it and tweak it, maybe make it better, maybe make it more comfortable for them. But this part is dedicated to you drivers out there that really do like your tuning. So just copy everything down. The share code, however, is after this part. So if you don't want to be sat here for an extra 20-30 seconds just listening to me ramble on, then just skip 30 seconds ahead, you'll see the share code, apply the share code and you are done. But obviously everyone's different, some people like to actually manually apply it, some people just want the share code and that's it. But regardless, you get an awesome, awesome car, super fast. Not a lot of people, I will say, like the Bone Shaker. They it's, they have a, a deep, deep grudge over it, especially because of the previous forces. But overall, lovely, lovely car. It is super fast, as I've already said. Um, All-wheel drive, I know that tweaks a few people. It does bother a few people, but don't let it. This is a super nice car. You're going to be leaving quite a lot of the competition behind. I've been beaten by this car many many times and I'm sure a few of you have seen this car on the drag strip before or gone up against a race against one I'm sure everyone's seen this car before but let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below and the tune let me know what you think it is awesome obviously when it comes against Jesco's and that it's a bit of a different argument but when it comes against any typical sleeper or anything like that you, you really don't have to worry. This car just blows them out of the water. But when it comes to like the higher up cars, the Rimac and everything like that, then that's a little bit more of a different argument there. But when it comes to just normal sleepers, some supercars, some hypercars, this thing's got the acceleration, it's got the power, it weighs less than a ton, so it's super light, super powerful has very very little wheel spin super grippy i was very very surprised about this car but let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below 
but I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. But I love every single one of you, and I'll see you all in the next video. around when it is safe to